Windows Vista will be released next week and the new Internet Explorer 7 is one of the cornerstones of the new product. Internet Explorer 7 has been available to Windows XP users since late last fall, but now it will be a reality for everyone using Windows Vista. Internet Explorer 7 has finally caught up with the rest of the browsing world in introducing what are called tabs. And if you're not been familiar with tabbed browsing, that is probably the single best feature that has been added to Internet Explorer 7. In a tabbed browsing environment, instead of having to have multiple windows open, you can use what's called a tab. So let's go to Google, and this is probably the single best way to demonstrate this, is doing a search. But if I don't want to reach each one individually, with tabbed browsing, I can do one of two things. I can right click on a link and then click open in a new tab. Or easier, if you have a scroll button on your mouse, you can middle click or click the little scroll wheel on one of the results and it'll open a tab for you. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to click on this YouTube video here with the middle click button and I'm going to right click and choose open in a new tab on this one. Now while I was doing that up here at the top of the screen I have I'm going to squeeze that over this I have now four tabs actually five tabs open and the nice thing about this is that you don't have to wait when you're doing searches for each website to load Then, if it's not what you wanted you have to go back and do it again and, and go back and forth you can just simply find all the results that seem to work best for you and then middle click or right click on them to open a new tab and then I can simply click on these tabs to review what I have found. In Internet Explorer 7 on the left hand side here you will see a little tab with four little boxes. If you click this tab it will show you thumbnail versions of the four or five windows you have open, however many tabs you have open and then you can click on the tab that you want to bring to the forefront and then of course you can navigate through your tabs simply by clicking. If you want to leave all of your tabs open and open another new tab, you can simply click on this little empty tab over here on the right hand side, click it once, Internet Explorer 7 will even tell you what you did, and then at the top of the screen here you can type in the website that you'd like to go back and visit. So tab browsing makes it extremely simple for you to be able to manage what websites are currently open. It makes searching the internet and navigating different websites extremely easy because you can have all of your different websites open in one window instead of multiple windows that you have to use the taskbar to navigate between. One question I get a lot on the radio show for people who have upgraded to Internet Explorer 7 is what happened to the menu bar? I can't find file, edit, view, etc. To find the menu bar, you can simply enable it by right-clicking on a blank part of the toolbar at the top of Internet Explorer, and then you'll get an option to enable the different views, and you can click Menu Bar, and you'll be back in business with your menu bar.